Hello everybody and what an exciting morning it has been. Asobo has released a ton of new information about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, including the pre-orders, the aircraft list, career mode, I mean, improvements to the satellite image. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff to talk about and I can't wait to dive into it. So I think we'll start with the different additions that you can pre-order now. Before we get to the additions, any version you pre-order you also get the de Havilland Canada CL-415 firefighting aircraft for use in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So you will get access to a 2024 plane a little bit early in 2020, which I can't wait to fly. And once that shows up in my sim, you can best guarantee there's going to be a first flight episode over it. Can't wait to fly it. So anyways, let's get over to the different editions of the sim. So this year, there's four editions to choose from. You have the Standard Edition for $69.99, the Deluxe Edition for $99.99, the Premium Deluxe Edition for $129.99, and the new one, the Aviator Edition for $199.99. And the only thing I'm going to talk about right now is the Aviator one, because obviously with the Premium Deluxe, Deluxe, and Standard, those different levels bring you different airplanes for those editions and we'll talk about that in the aircraft list. To me, the Aviator Edition feels like something for somebody that didn't play Flight Sim 2020. And they want the entire catalog of famous flyers and local legends that Microsoft released. Because that's why it has 30 more planes. It's the 30 that released in 2020 from 2021 to 2024. So that's basically what that edition is to me. If I didn't play 2020, I'd probably go with that one then that gives you all the planes that released. But if you already have them, you're good with, you know, obviously the premium deluxe and below. So just thought I'd mention that. And yeah, so I think we'll just dive on in to the aircraft list, huh? Are we ready? All right. We're going to try to fly through it as fast as possible here. We got the Icon A5, the Power Shoot by Sky Rascal, the Jetson 1, the Robin Aircraft Cap 10, the DR-400-100 Cadet, the VL-3, the Joby S-4, or Jabby, it might be an A, I don't know, <laughs> Jabby Joby, either way, it's in the sim, the Robinson R-66, the Spirit of St. Louis, the Magni Gyro M-24 Orion, the MX Aircraft Company MXS-R, the Stemma S-12G, the P-51 Mustang, the Velocity, TC Texan, and the Wright Flyer, the PC-6, the Edge 540, the PC-12 NGX, and the Savage Cub. We have the Draco X, the Spruce Goose, the DC-3, Hot Air Balloon by Flydo, the Diamond Aircraft DA-62, and another Hot Air Balloon, the ES-30, the DA-40NG. The LS-8-18, the Cabri G-2, the Goose, the DG-1001E, the de Havilland Canada DHC-6 Twin Otter, Flight Design CTSL, the A-10 Thunderbolt 2, the DHC-2 Beaver, the CL-415, the Extra 330LT, S-64F air crane and the TBM 930. Then the Cessna 152, the Skyship 600, the Archer Midnight, the Cessna 172 Skyhawk with the G1000, the Cessna 208B Grand Caravan EX, the Pitt Special S1S, the Pitt Special S2S, the Cessna 400 Corvell S DT, the Cessna Citation CJ4, the Beechcraft Bonanza G36, the Beechcraft King Air 350i, the CGS Hawk Arrow 2, the Bell 407, the Cirrus Vision SF50 Vision Jet, the Cub Crafters NX Cub, the 737 Max 8, the 747-8i and dash 8F, the X Cub, the FA18. Oh, man, I always say it. The FAA-18. <laughs> the F-18, god dang it. 
the JN-4 Jenny, the Airbus Helicopter H125, the A400M Atlas, the A330-743L Beluga XL, the A330-200-300 and the 300 P2F, the Airbus A321LR, the Airbus A320neo, the Airbus A310-300, the Air Tractor AT802, the Aero Alivria Optica, and the Aero Vodochadi L-39. Oh my, and that's just the standard edition. That's all those planes we just listed off. That is the $69.99 edition of the sim and what a beautiful catalog of aircraft already but we're not even done because now we have the deluxe edition with the deluxe edition you get the amphibian aerospace albatross the cessna 404 titan the cessna 408 sky courier really excited for that one that's the new cessna aircraft there uh, can't wait to fly that one uh, beechcraft baron g58 the cessna 152 aerobat the diamond da40 tdi Diamond DV-20, the Cessna 172 Skyhawk, the Cessna 188 AG Truck, and the Dornier Sea Star are part of the Deluxe Edition. That thing looks fun. I mean, all of them look fun. I can't wait to fly every single one on this list. It's going to be awesome. But now, to the Premium Deluxe. And of course, if you get the Premium Deluxe, you get all the other aircraft we've already talked about. Same with the Deluxe. You get the Standard plus the Deluxe and so forth. But here we go. The Airbus Helicopter H-225, the C-17 Globemaster III, the Beechcraft C-90 GTX King Air, the CH-47D Chinook, the 747-400 Global Super Tanker, the firefighting 747. Really awesome to see that. The Cessna Citation Longitude, the Boeing Company's 747-400 Dreamlifter, the Cirrus Aircraft SR-22, the 787, and the PC-24 Pilatus. I was so excited that I noticed in the recording I left out an entire row, so let's go through it really quick. We have Zlin Aviation Shock Ultra, the Savage Norden, the Saab 34DB, the Papistral Virus SW-121, and the Papistral Terius M. And there we go. Now, now we went through the whole list. <laughs> and there we have it. Oh my goodness. I love it. What a list. What an incredible list. And of course, whatever you had in 2020 will also carry over into 2024. So if you have a ginormous list there, you can just add that to everything that's already in 2024. And I mean, the Beluga, the A400, we got the C-17, the Chinook, the Airbus helicopters, the hot air balloons. I can't wait to fly the blimp. I mean, my God, it's just, just so much excitement. I cannot wait for this. It's just incredible. And the incredibleness doesn't end here because now we can dive on into all the new details about the sim itself. So I think we're going to go ahead and start with career system. I'm so excited to dive into this. But before we get too far into it, I saw people saying that there's no free flight in 24, which makes no sense. There is absolutely free flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So I just thought I'd mention that before we dive on into it. So let us begin in career. The system cleverly mimics the experience of how real world pilots start their aviation careers. You can pick any single airport on the planet and start your career there, which means that's where you're going to take your lessons. Which is pretty cool. So like you you can start from scratch and pretty much build up your company, which is awesome. The career system introduces new elements to the simulation like pre-flight procedures, logging flight paths, and choosing from a vast amount of mission objectives. Advancement is tracked through a certification tree where you can learn the skills to fly various types of aircraft, each of which comes with a training session to help you master those skills. Later, specializations will unlock a variety of missions such as search and rescue, commercial flights, firefighting, and many more. It's a simplified version, but still, it will explain to you the basics of each of those different activities, from commercial pilot to tailwind, 
airliner, transport, etc. Performance for these missions is evaluated by several factors like following ATC instructions, taxi paths, and flight parameters. Completing these missions successfully nets you credits and reputation, which you can then use to save up and buy your own plane and eventually manage your own fleet. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. Once you have earned enough money to run your business with your personally owned aircraft, a new phase of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24 opens in which you'll be directly responsible for your aircraft. Every landing, every bump on the runway is going to impact the warranty of your planes, affecting the cost to keep them maintained. Effectively, 2024 includes a management sim inside the wider flight sim, and that is what I was hoping for when they were talking about these missions and career. I mean, come on. How awesome is that? This is basically the management of your fleet, because you will buy more planes at some point to allow you to engage in a different type of activity. Maybe you want to buy your own airliners and expand your fleet across the world. This new career system is a big chunk of the innovation we introduce in 24, and I think it's never been done at this level of variety and quality before. I mean, come, you can only run your own business, you can be firefighting, search and rescue, and all just, I mean, come on, there's so much to this. How cool is that? You got the free flight aspect to it, you have the career mode where you can actually focus on building up a company, I mean, come on, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh my goodness gracious. If there was a ding against the 2020 version of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it was that each of its individual experiences like bush trips and landing challenges, which are still fun, rarely felt connected to each other. It was akin to putting on a greatest, greatest hits album, giving you the best bits without experiencing what the journey was like to get there. This is what I wanted from a flight simulator for such a long time, and having a chance to create my own virtual pilot journey from start to finish Sounds like it's going to keep me flying for a long, long time, and I would agree with that. Now we're moving on to the digital twin, satellite imagery and everything, and how the world looks. 2024 is also bringing massive en enhancements to the simulated Earth by increasing the detail of its virtual environment by a factor of 4,000. For instance, the ground will no longer be a mere height field. It now features tiny stones, rocks, gravel, and grass, all modeled in 3D. This ground detail impacts your aircraft's wheels as they interact with various surfaces, affecting takeoffs and landings. Improved sky and atmospheric lighting, especially during sunrise and sunset with varying displays of colors based on the makeup of the clouds, ensuring accurate temperatures for all light sources. New cloud types like cirrus clouds will better simulate the highest levels of our atmosphere, while the dynamic weather has been improved as well, increasing the density to make storms and other weather phenomena much more realistic and impressive to fly through. We've updated the aerial imagery for the entire world and we set up a team of specialists that gather digital elevation maps from across the planet. The result of these last four years of work is that we now have an unprecedented level of ground detail. Which, I mean, the pictures I'm going to be showing, I mean, you get to see that. I mean, it's just... I'm so excited to dive in. And it's not just inanimate objects that are getting massive improvements in 24. It's attempting to populate its digital Earth as close to our real world as feasible by introducing a large cast of diverse human characters and locally significant vehicles, all adding to the overall realism of the simulation. For instance, there's real-time ship tracking so you can see cargo ships move throughout the world as you would in real life. You can see passengers inside airliners are moving from one location to the next in airports. And because landing just about anywhere in the world is one of the key features, due to the much more detailed environments, the development team worked closely with our partners like Frontier, creators of Zoo Tycoon and Planet Zoo. That's amazing to introduce many species that bring the world to life. I wasn't expecting a Frontier collaboration. How cool is that? Love it. We have species separated into two groups for wild animals. We are using a fantastic database, the GBIF, the Global Biodiversity Information Facility, to place animals across the world both in their appropriate habitats and in roughly appropriate quantities to get close to realistic densities. For domesticated animals, we are using our field detection, 
which is also used for activities like aerial application to place species like cows, sheep, goats, and horses across the planet. We can essentially now go sheep herding or cow herding with helicopters, which is super fun. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm all about the cows being added to the sim. I mean, come on. I feel like I've said come on a lot. I Honestly, when I'm really excited, I probably say the same things over again. I mean, this is... This is just going to be incredible. Next up, we got the cloud. Another big area of improvement that's planned is addressing the installation size. It's no big surprise how much space Flight Sim takes on your console or PC. So it's refreshing to hear how this is one of the biggest things that is being addressed in 24. By tapping into the latest cloud streaming technology, installation size has been trimmed down to about 30 gigabytes to get you in your seat and flying as quickly as possible streaming in the higher detailed areas that are only necessary for your flight path. Why install all the data for the United States when you're intending to just fly over Europe for the evening? Flight Sim 2020 already had over two petabytes of data on the cloud. That was the whole world data. We kept adding to that, but we still had planes, airports, meshes, points of interest like castles and textures that were all installed. That's the part that kept growing with the marketplace content, which has grown to two terabytes. Now we integrated everything into the cloud and it is all streamed and kept into a rolling cache on the hardware. You don't have to install any new world updates. They're just streamed seamlessly. Oh my good. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of nice. I love that. It's all highly optimized and tailored to each player's experience. For example, if you fly over a large international airport, you won't need to have the highest quality version of the mesh downloaded on your system. The simulator is only going to pull the lowest or medium quality version, leaving the higher quality assets streamed on demand through the cloud for when you're closer. Another impressive addition to Microsoft Flight Simulator 24 will be its soft body simulation for hot air balloons. These balloons will be simulated across 6400 surfaces, giving realistic reaction to heat density. When you turn on the heater, the air will heat up, and it's going to inflate the massive balloon. You will see the balloon inflated and get lighter. Combustion happens and the balloon goes up. Banners are physically simulated, so they will flap in the wind, just exactly like tissue with the rope attached. Also, we now have parachutes. For example, the Cirrus Vision Jet, which you can fly, has a parachute system that can be deployed when needed. And that's what I was talking about. I don't know if you watched my Piper Cub video that came out yesterday, but there's already physics being added to 2020 and having all these new built-in physics from the sim itself in 24, these planes and everything are just going to be incredible with the amount of detail getting into it. I mean, it's just so very awesome. Attention to detail. 24 is launching with one of the most largely diverse groups of highly detailed aircraft systems than any flight simulator has ever come with before. It isn't just how good these aircraft look, and they certainly look fantastic, but also the care and attention that has been given to these systems. The reason that we wanted to focus on this experience so much and to build things like flight planning and pre-flight activities into the simulator is because we wanted to make sure everyone had the opportunity to take advantage of those kinds of capabilities and those kinds of experiences. One of the things that has impacted simmers in the past is that flight simulators have often used outside tools to do their flight planning or pre-flight activities, and those came with some barriers to entry, things like cost, or maybe complexity that kept a lot of them from doing that. Now you'll be able to go through the entire pre-flight experience, from planning to briefing for things like weather, and then executing that flight on some of the most detailed cockpits and avionics systems that we've ever seen in a flight simulator. The new flight planning tool supports anything from small flight plans all the way up to larger, more complicated paths using the same kind of tools that airline dispatchers use for their long commercial flights. We've also got several commercial aircraft systems that we're bringing into 24. The 737 MAX 8 avionics package is one of those. Of course, we've got the 787 and 747-8i as well. Then something exciting we're working on is the Boeing 747-400, also known as the Dreamlifter. This is a purpose-built aircraft that Boeing made to help them with the manufacture of the 787. They expanded it, and now simmers can use this to fly aircraft parts around. 
We've partnered with Boeing to faithfully recreate this aircraft and the 747-400 avionics package that goes with it, which is incredible. Just exciting to hear all, like, it's just, it seems like everything that we loved in 2020 and thought was awesome has just skyrocketed into a whole different dimension. And, uh, I mean, I was already excited for 24, but my goodness. All these enhancements from addressing install size, entirely new forms of photogrammetry, and an unprecedented digital twin of the Earth, the enhanced learning system, the vast and innovative career system were not only were not the only things that the development team was excited about. They are, as Newman explains, all the result of carefully listening to the wishes and dreams of Flight Simulator's passionate community. The community feedback was welcomed and embraced by the dev teams and became the guiding principles in the creation of 24. We are making this new simulator for the community, and we are working directly with the community, and it is through this fantastic collaboration that 24 is able to take flight simulation to the next level. And there we go. I don't even know how long I've been recording here, but my goodness, there is the absolute giant like blog of information that we have of 2024. And again, those pre-orders are available now. And wow, just so, so excited for November. It's going to be a blast. And again... Once the pre-order bonus plane that we get the fly in 2020 shows up, you can best guarantee that the Haviland Canada CL-415 firefighting aircraft, we are going to be doing a first flight on that, of course. So uh, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed 